What's up guys, Rated Designs here, and uh, today's a tutorial, but uh, this was recommended a while back. Um, I did one, early, like an early version of uh, how to make like, you know, a, a very basic text logo, so I kind of want to recap on that because I, I have changed things on how I do different things. Um, there's many different ways that I use them. I use, I, most of the time, um, you'll see a lot of... Uh, people out there, for instance, um, Louie, or Dare Louie, makes a lot of uh, custom text logos, which which I have made many, 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 oh, I'm sorry, um, of them. And I, I my original rated one was, you know, custom text logo for that. But I just want to show you guys basically how to make a really basic one, but make it look really, really nice. Um, now, the first thing I want to do is open up a document 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080 but what the best thing to do here is is to make sure that you understand the type tool and understand what you can do with this thing so the type tool is basically just you know of course you know fonts but there's a lot of different spacing things too so for instance um, you know if I just wanted to do something basic and we're just gonna put text in there and you know if I wanted to get a really nice text logo that is very um, more into you know my type of um, type of like futuristic uh, look of logos and text logos you're gonna want to get a very futuristic font um, for instance uh, zeros theorem zeros proof uh, y and dermo that's a really nice font to use for them uh, you know one of them that I usually use a lot that you'll see me are any of the vermin vibes. Uh, these are awesome texts for them, and usually that's what I do. What you want to do with this is, of course, make it as big as you can. So usually I, I pull this about 500. And here's where the type tool comes in. You're going to want to highlight all of your text, and there's going to be a little sidebar. And you're going to want to change this spacing right here. It's going to be an A right here. Oh, sorry. I'm t it's right below. You say VA, it's going to be right below, and you're going to want to change it to about 200. And what that does is, is it spaces the letters out so you can actually edit them and, like, you know, kind of get in between. Now, as you guys can see, you have your text. Now, one of the biggest parts about making these types of logos is that you're going to have to, you know, rasterize your text layer. Now, the, what rasterizing does is, is it makes everything editable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rectangular marquee, and I'm just going to cut each one of these out. So cut out the T, cut out the E, and cut out the X. Now the T, the other T is obviously going to be already right here. But uh, we're just going to flip everything. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on this T. Now one of the biggest things that a lot of people do is they tend to work like this, far away. And they can't get a you know perfect uh, feel for everything. Oh, I am so sorry back up. Uh, anyways, the best thing to do is zoom into about 300% and you're going to start to really see the outlines of text. It'll start to get a little blurry, of course, um, but I mean, hey, it's not really going to do much of a, you know, be that big of a difference. But anyways, you're going to take your pen tool and this is where the pen tool comes in, I mean, handy. I mean, this is, this is really where um, the pen tool comes in. Now, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the E that we have and I'm going to merge it with this uh, T. Now, I'm going to merge these two layers just because I'm going to be cutting both of them. And you're going to take this pen tool, and you're going to put it through both, and you're just going to make a nice rectangle. Actually, I'm going to pull it down to uh, something like that. Maybe we went a little bit lower. No. There you go. And you're just going to want to cut a nice... Oh, I'm sorry cut these two things in half. Now what that does is it shows, of course, uh, you know, a T and an E. But what I'm going to do here is also make the points. Now points is pretty easy. You can figure out how to do this on your own pretty fast. Uh, just slants right here. Uh, this, this is all by eye. I really don't know what I want to do yet. Um, but this is something that I've seen. Uh, so I'm going to pull this down and make this a little bit longer, but I'm also going to make this a point. And you're going to want to make these, you know, pretty 
pretty good. And that's basically what we have so far. So right here, I can probably take something like this. Oh, I take that back. We're gonna flip this upside down. You want to make sure that everything is very, you know, looks right. You know, if it doesn't look right to you, don't do it. Um, I'm also going to take this, and what this this is a cool thing. You want to select if you want to like pull this out instead of having like actually repen tool. All you have to do is select this, or you know, take a pen tool make selection and hit command C, command V and it'll duplicate this little layer and you can just pull it out as much as you want so that's about as far out as I'm going to want um, with this little um, the X, now the X you know I'm going to take this X and I'm going to pull this E part and I'm going to do something to like this and a lot of what people like to do here is they're, you know, a lot of people like these little small lines that just don't really identify to be much, but they just look cool, pretty much, is, is I guess what I'm trying to say. And with the X, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to do the Command-C, Command-V, and just duplicate this, bring this down more, and just keep bringing this down, I think, maybe one little step more. And we're going to merge this. And then we're going to take our T, last T. And what I could have done is something like this. But I think I'm going to do more of something to this extent. I'm going to extend this T out to something like right here and then pull it in here. We're going to move this, and we're going to take this and just merge, not merge, fill it with white. And this part, we're going to, I'm actually going to just draw this 100% with this pen tool, and boom. And actually, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And, and basically what this is going to do is it's going to give you a little bit of a feel of what a text logo should look like. And as you guys can see, it's something cool like this. And of course, in this, there's small spaces right here that you could probably fill. Like, for instance, if I wanted to really boost this thing up, I could just do this. Like, I know this is going to sound, this is going to look weird for a second. But the way I make it, uh, just duplicate here, uh, right here, right here, right here, right here, and we're just duplicating this all the way to the T. And what this is going to do is if we select the X and you just click delete on this part on your little I guess uh, uh, wind looking area you're going to want to just do something to that extent and it looks kinda cool I, I think it's uh, gives the uh, the effect of the you know this thing being an actual logo and also I'm actually going to extend this and make sure guys that there are you know ways um, for instance that you can get a lot more of a perfect line uh, one of the best ways would be using rulers or something to that extent um, but this is something that I kinda just did out of my head right now and that's kinda what we get um, of course it once you merge it uneditable um, and it's something cool like that now that's for um, a Tron type text um, would I you know for instance I, I do a lot of different types of logos. Um, for instance, like you know, uh, 
The a lot of them are just font related. Um, let me see what I can find. Um, but yeah, a lot of these are just kind of trial and error. Uh, if you like something, keep going and keep trying to make something. Um, going about trying to think of a custom made one, uh, it's all by drawing. Most of me is drawing and that's kind of, it's kind of tough for me to just sit here and be like, oh yeah, here, this is what I do, you know, and explain that to you. Uh, it's not easy because everything is in my head and it, it, it you know, it kind of just comes out on a piece of paper. Um, all right, we'll just use this font actually because I've never really made a logo with it, but uh, we'll do 150. Maybe we'll do I'm gonna do obey. Okay, we'll do obey. So this is just a very eerie, weird font, and it's called Evil Dead. And um, I'm just gonna do the same things, and we're just going to cut each and every single one of these. Uh, and we're going to just keep cutting. All right, we got this. Oh, I'm sorry. Went into layer styles. And two. All right, now what we have here is an O. So now, if you guys notice that we could probably pull this O into the B maybe a little bit. Kind of like this here. I'll show you a little bit. And then we'll just take the opacity of the B right here. And if we just zoom in and take this little tool, little pen tool of ours, and kind of just, I'm sorry, we're kind of going to want to just And I kind of want to just go around the logo and make like a perfect little circle cut area on the B. And then you kind of just brighten the B back up. And that could actually be a lot bigger. And of course, the first circle cut, shall I say, not going to be perfect every single time, uh, actually. What I and here's another technique that you could do instead of doing that. If you want to get a perfect circle, you just click on the O and just delete part of the B. And that's pretty easy, and you just click delete on the B. And as you can see, there's kind of already a cut, and you just kind of pull the cut away. And then with the E, you'd kind of do the same thing, um, except you're going to select the. Oh, I'm sorry. Select the B. And cut with the or cut the E and kind of pull that out. And then Y, you know, you could do something to this extent and just connect it. Pretty simple. Um, and you just get a nice 2D type logo right here. Um, pretty pretty simple stuff. I mean you can edit pretty much anything you want. Um, that's just kind of different techniques to making text logos. Um, if you guys can give me like, you know, two, three, 200 likes, that'd be awesome. I mean, I'd love to get, I'd do a whole Illustrator tutorial on basically starting this type of stuff. Uh, be, you know, and, and kind of your theory behind it. So um, be awesome. But also, I'd really like to say thank you for just tuning in for all my videos. Um, I've been really uh, down lately about uh, these, you know, just views and stuff. So, um, it means a lot to see that you guys actually are coming out to still watch. And um, it's awesome. So if you guys also want to go and check out the new banner that I made for uh, Chaos Silencer, it's a really nice banner. Uh, it's basically influenced by the new Call of Duty. You wanted something new, and it looks really, really cool. So definitely go check that out. Um, like the shit out of this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm ready, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm going to upload again. I'm going to keep uploading. So uh, deuces, guys.